Hi guys, it's Jimmy. So today I'm going to show you how to make painted roses with acrylic paint. Um, but it's going to be mixed media style. So a few months ago, my friend Ina had a birthday party and she invited an artist and um, it was really cool. She showed us how to do a background, very basic. And she also showed us what kind of flowers, um, whatever kind of flower we wanted to make. I stayed with roses because they're my favorite. So um, she just showed me a really cool basic technique for how to make roses. So, and I love the way they turned out. Um, I've always been kind of intimidated by how to paint them. So <laughs> this was fun and it's kind of a beginner technique, but it was really fun. So I kind of translated that for my mixed media um, planner. So um, I made these, which I love, and a few of you guys were asking me to make a video on how I did them. So that's what we're gonna do today, okay? So what I have here is just three colors of paint. Oh, where is my, hmm, I lost my, oh, shoopa. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Sorry, guys. So I have Coral Bush, and these are Americana. And then I have Pink, and then I have Citron Green. And I also have a gold color and a cool white. So this is an Americana Satin, and it's in gold. And um, those are the three colors that I'm going to use. I am going to use a flat brush for the actual roses. Okay, so I'll show you what that looks like. Okay. This is the brush that I'll be using. So it's just flat, okay? Just like that. Alrighty, and then I will be using a angled brush to make the leaves, okay? So all I'm gonna do is just squirt out some paint. I'm gonna use the blush. And I am using Americana paints. Um, I really love these paints. Okay, and we're gonna add some pink there and I'm going to do some white and I have a little bit of paint um, that you guys can't see either and then I'll add the gold in a second okay so you're just going to grab a book page um, I wanted to do this mixed media style but you could absolutely do this on cardstock or just on a canvas or however you want I'm just basically going to show you the technique okay and then um, you can use it as you like but you can use it for a bunch of different things so I am going to begin with my pink which I will need more of, okay? And I'm gonna make a C shape. So I'm gonna show you, I'm moving my brush like that, okay? So I'm gonna take it and like that, okay? And I'm gonna fill in with one color first. So I just went like that. And then I'm gonna go around here like this, but I'm making what looks like a C, okay? But I'm leaving some space because I want to be able to go in there with some more colors, okay? Alrighty, so let's do it again here. So I'm going to go in and make a C like that, okay? And I'm going to go in and go like that. And I'm just kind of letting it trail off, okay? Just like that. And I just love um, how, the, how it looks. Um, with the stuff in the background. So it's cool with the book page in the background. So let's add a little bit more pink. Just a little bit. We'll make a couple more for you guys to see here. Oops. Get that off there too. Okay. And we're going to do it again. So I'm going to make that. I'm going to come in and go like Make a C. And Kelly Donathan did do um, a tutorial on how to make these roses too. Um, I forgot to mention that. It was after Ina's party, um, but she has a really good video too. So you can definitely go watch that and I will link it below. Very cool. So like that. And mine are a little different, so, but it's good to, I think, see other people's techniques too. So. Good, but I was so happy at the results of that canvas. Um, I need to do more work on it, like with the background, I think. So I will do that. And just practice. I mean, that's the main thing is don't be intimidated and don't compare your flowers to my flowers. Just 
get out some paint and this is a really simple and fun technique. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with my coral color. Here, I'll get some up here too. Okay, and I'm just going to kind of fill it in. So I'm making the C's again. Okay, I'm just flicking that brush. Okay. Alrighty, until I get it the way I want. And I'm trying to use just the tip of my brush. This is just an angle brush that I got. It was pretty cheap um, from the art store. So the colors, the art shop is the name of the one that I went to. And don't don't think about it too much because you're going to go in with the white. So and you can always add more paint. Like that's a little too blotchy, but that's okay. We're going to go with it. And you can start with whatever color you want. Um, I just like it when it has three colors, my roses, but do it as you like. Okay, and again, I got blotchy there, see? I didn't make my C, I just used it as a paintbrush, but it just takes a little bit of practice. Okay, but I'm gonna go in with some pink, some more pink. Just so you can see it just a little bit better. Alrighty. Oops. That paint has a little string on it, doesn't it? Okay, so we're going to go in. We're going to make C's. And it looks really good um, when the paint's mixed together. So you can do that. Alrighty, so now I am going to wipe off the paint. I'm going to have to wet my brush a little bit. And I'm going to get most of the color off. Okay because I'm going to add my white. Alrighty. So basically you're just making small C's. That's it. Just small little C's that touch each other. Really, that's it, okay? We're gonna go in with our white and we're gonna do the same thing. So, and you're gonna see these start to come alive. Now I am really just attempting to use the tip of my brush for the when I put the white on, okay? Just like that. So see, it starts to begin to look like a rose. So you can pick whichever two colors you want that complement each other. You could do two different shades of blue or two shades of orange or whatever you like. That's an easy way to do it. Or um, you could do two like totally different colors if you wanted to and that would work well. And then you're just gonna add the white in and that just kind of brings it to life. Okay, just like that. And you want them to be random. So don't like freak yourself out or think it has to be perfect or anything like that. Okay. And I'm just going around making my little C's. That's it. Alrighty. And this one. And if you get too much white, then you can go in, you know, and get some more color and add that to it. So do not be hard on yourself at all. Okay, like that. Alright, so once you do that, you are going to move on to your leaves. Now the leaves are really, really easy, even if you don't have an angle brush. So really you could do these techniques with whatever brush you have, honestly. It doesn't make a difference. These are just the two that I use. And this is just a vintage book that I had. You're going to take it and you're going to load it up, okay? And I just have the paint right on the tip of my brush, like that, okay? And I'm just going to take it, right, and I'm going to start at a tip and I'm going to bring it down like that just to make a leaf shape. Start up there and it just gives a really nice leaf look. Okay, And if you want you could add in a little bit of white right? and we're going to do that again. So just go add some pressure, take it down, take it down. 
and if you have to fill in or if you get it and it's a little funny looking don't worry just use your brush take it and again we're going to start and you can make them whichever size you want so I'm just kind of keeping in mind the size of my flowers okay and you could add highlights in I mean you can go as crazy as you want with this technique Alrighty, let's add a little bit of more of the citron because I like um, at least two leaves for every flower so that's what I'm gonna do we're gonna do about three flowers together so just like that okay let's go up here and just taking my brush and going around that's it and all you're doing is applying pressure I've never done one stroke but I think it would be really fun to learn I almost need a video to do it though because I bought the book but it's hard to I'm like okay sometimes I need to just see things <laughs> most of the times I just need to see things that's the way I learn so we're gonna go up here and go down and down so thank goodness for YouTube but there we go that just makes a really cool leaf okay awesome Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put my brush away for that and we have enough to make our flowers. Okay, so now we've let these dry for just a few seconds and we are going to add some gold. So I have a brush in here that I'm going to use. This is not a flat brush, but you could absolutely use just a smaller flat brush for this process. Okay, I'm going to just grab my little rag here. And we're going to just squirt out. This is the Americana Satin Finish, um, and I love this gold. And I just love their satin paints because they're not full matte like, um, like most acrylic paints. It's a satin finish, so it's not too glossy. It's not too matte. It's just perfect. Um, and I love those paints. I'm just going to take it and just add and I'm just making some C's that's it okay so I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna make a C there and then I'm randomly just adding little accents to my flowers that's it so nothing too fancy I'll put it there but it just adds something beautiful to the flower so I'm gonna take it and we're gonna make a little C there go in like that like that and like that and don't even think about it just go for it okay just like that alrighty okay so once we do that I have some that are already dried hopefully yeah they're still dry okay and oops okay and then I'm gonna go in with a black sharpie and I'm gonna make little seeds that's all I'm gonna do so I'm going to fill out these little roses and just by making C's. Um, I'm going to use a fine one, a fine sharpie, but you can use a thick one if you want. But I just kind of like how delicate they are with a fine one. So I'm going to go right in the center and I just make a C, okay? And another C, and another one but I'm just accenting the flower, okay? So it's not science, there's no real technique, you're just gonna kinda fill it out, and it just makes your flowers look sketchy and pretty. Look at that. So I'm just showing you there's really nothing to it, okay? Just wherever you think there should be kind of a C shape, okay? That's it. But it just gives it a a beautiful look a sketchy look which I love that's why I love mixed media and that's why I'm kind of making the flowers this way you could do it on cardstock but I really like how the letters and the text is shining through and it just makes it look more mixed media to me but um, you could create it however you want so I just made a C there do one there one there one there one there one there 
and it just gives it kind of some dimension too, so it doesn't they don't look so flat. Okay, let's put one there too. And I don't want you to go crazy or think about it too much, okay? Just do it. That's it. <laughs> okay. Let's do one there. Just like that. Okay, so they're really fun, super simple to make. Okay, and now let's go on to our leaves. Some of these are not dried yet, so I'm just going to hit them really quick. Even though acrylic paint dries pretty quick. Okay, alrighty, so I'm going to begin with this one. Okay, so I'm going to take it and I'm just going to make a line straight down. It's not even a straight line, as you can tell from the camera, okay? So again, we're not flipping out or anything, and we're just going to make veins for our leaves, just to let us know that they're leaves, okay? And I'm just using my Sharpie Fine, which works well over paint. We're going to go here. I'm just going to connect them, and you can make the veins rounded or straight or however you like, so just whatever your preference is, so that looks pretty good to me, okay, and then we're going to cut them out, so let's go here, and again we're going to take it and go here, and I'm just going to do about four of these because we're going to make, I'm going to cut out about four flowers and see how you like them. So you can do one side first, which is kind of what I like to do. There we go, like that. You can space them out however you'd like. Okay. You could even, you know, outline them if you wanted, but I'm not gonna do that, okay? Then let's do this one here. Same thing, so we're going to take it and go like this, and I hope you guys are having a wonderful weekend. I'm having a craft kind of day with some people from Colorado, some local people, um, artists, so that'll be fun, so I'm super excited about that. Um, Colorado is kind of a big state, so I think some of the ladies are driving down from the surrounding areas, so I hope we get a good turnout. So I'm just going to make these a little bit rounder on this one. Okay, just like that. Alrighty. So make them as you like, okay? Alrighty. So now we're going to cut them out. Oops. Okay, so I'm just going to go around my rows here, and you know I have kind of a natural shape here. I'm just going to go around that. Okay, so that's the way it looks, and I just want to show you, okay, that's it. Alrighty. So let's do that here. Okay. Just like that. So you're just going to cut them out. And I will brush mine with my Deco Paint um, Glossy Siller just because I want the colors really to pop. So I will do that, but you don't have to do that. You could just add them to your project or give them away as happy mail. There's a lot you can do with them. Put them on postcards. They're really fun and super simple to make. So now I'm just cutting out the leaves very, very simply, just like that. So that's my leaf shape. I just want to cut a couple out just so we can put them together and you guys can see how they look. And with the leaves, you can really see the text in the background. So I love that. Which is great. Awesome. Yeah, and I I got the lesson ready for the kids. We're learning about Moses, so it's really cute. I love crafts to do crafts with the kids. Um, so we're gonna do um, Miriam. 
as you put Moses in the basket. And then um, we're going to do also Moses parting the Red Sea. So that's really cool. You get like a piece of paper and um, it's very interactive. And it actually looks like the like water parting. So that's going to be so cool. And then we're going to learn about the plague. So I have little finger puppets for them. And they're going to hold them up for the plagues. I try to make the, fun, the class as fun as I can for them. You know, because... I think some people think learning about God is boring, so I don't want the kids to feel that way. I'm like, no, it can be fun. We're going to make it fun for you, you know, so it's good. Um, so now I am going to go have my glue stick, which I have right here, <laughs> and we're going to put some of these together. So that's what I'll be doing tonight, and then um, tomorrow is the class, and then my little art date I guess with my friends which will be great and you're just gonna take the leaves and you just kind of add a little bit of glue to them from a glue stick and I kind of like to group them together so I put like two like that okay and this um, paper that I'm using the text that I'm using the book page is from a Reader's Digest it's an old one that I get at the thrift store so that's the way they look. You could even just do it with one and that would work great too. But there's so many things that you can use these for. So I really hope that you make some. They're super fun and super simple to make. And I just love to use them in projects. So hopefully you enjoyed the tutorial. I will put Kelly's um, link below so you can check out the flowers that she made. Um, as I said, I really didn't watch her video. I kind of just saw it in the feed like a couple months ago, but I will put the video below too because I saw that she had done and I was like, that is so cool too. So I was like, well, I should do that for my planner. And then you guys wanted me to show you how to do it. So I will definitely share with you um, how to do it. And you could add like white pin marks to this or whatever you wanted to. So um, you could definitely go crazy and make these really, really cool. It'd be cool to use like a metallic, um, Sharpie or something like that or um, or like a gel pen that would be really awesome too and they're really sketchy and super fun to make um, they're super simple so I hope that you make these and I will see you guys later have a wonderful weekend um, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and please subscribe and leave me a comment I'm so sorry I haven't been answering comments um, that much but I read every one of them and they mean so much to me it's just a little crazy right now <laughs> with everything that's going on but hopefully this weekend I'll make some time and I can interact with you guys because I really look forward to that part but I want you to know that I see all of them that they make me very happy um, and I just love you guys and you are so awesome and I'm so lucky to have you so um, I will see you on Monday with another fun tutorial and um, let me know what you think about these flowers if the technique you, was something that you could follow and if you make them I would love to see a picture it would be super awesome okay guys so have a great weekend and I will see you next time bye bye don't forget to subscribe give me a thumbs up and I'm gonna link a playlist um, for more flowers that I made my newspaper flowers and a couple more flowers so I hope you'll check out that playlist and um, watch some more of my videos for how to make wonderful easy little flowers okay so I'll see you guys next time bye bye